Shep didn't tell us much, Terry. Well, okay. It's... Except that you were going to be here at 7.30. Yeah, well, that was a mix-up then. Yeah, you already said that. I'm out here with the spry. And like I said, we are just going to fly it in. Oh, there goes my camera falling over. We are, it is a little windy, but uh, it's no big deal. It's the iPhone, it's tough. It's tough as nails. But, um, see, it's sunny out here and I can actually see the screen, okay? You might not be able to see it because of the glare, but I, I actually can see it if I turn it in, in a correct way. So, here's the um, takeoff, or no, the move the camera buttons are right here, these little things here with these arrows up and down. And then this button here is to record the video and to take pictures. You just tap it once for a picture and then hold it in for a, a video. And then it'll tell you in this little thing down here in the bottom what your video time is and all that stuff. And then uh, here's the follow me button. And then here is the circle flight button right in here. So all I want to do is take it off and just fly it around a little bit just to see what it feels like, you know. So let's arm up these motors and take off. Now it's going to drift around because I don't have the GPS on. I'm going to start some video here in a second. make sure the video is recording it is See how much it drifts in the with the in the addy mode and it drifts quite a bit because the wind's blowing that way and that's the way it's going <laughs> like i said we're just feeling her out right now Okay, let me uh, try this camera thing here. Okay, the camera tilting, it doesn't, if you hold it in, it doesn't keep moving. You have to do each individual movement by clicking the button so it doesn't it's not one of them deals where you can hold the button in it's the wind's kicking up pretty good here man it's gonna blow it around a lot actually my camera just fell over again <sighs> Here I am fighting this wind and the <laughs> I'm fighting the wind and the quadcopter at the same time. It's kind of breezy. But like I said, this was just to feel it out. I just want to get the feel. That's all. I'm gonna turn the GPS on to see if it'll sit still. And of course it did. So now it's just sitting there.
I'm gonna get my phone out of this stupid holder here before I break it. It's actually too windy to set up the tripod because the tripod keeps blowing over. So that's the way it goes, right? Let's bring this back over this way a little bit. I'm not sure about this screen and where it tells you how much satellites and all that mumbo jumbo. I'm just not sure about all that. I'm gonna wait a minute. Okay, the camera does move up automatically. You don't have to press the button every time. Okay, I'm watching that right now. So it does do that. So I thought it didn't, but it does. in the GPS mode now. Let's see here. I'm just looking at the screen at Okay, so there's an arrow there. I'm gonna try that circle flight out here in a minute. Yeah, this wind is uh, kicking up, but it's holding pretty good. I just wanna get a couple little close-up shots there. Let's try this little circle thing here. I'm just gonna take it out here a little bit. So it just does it automatically. As soon as you click the button, it just starts doing it, you know? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Then you can change the radius with the with the joysticks. You can change the speed and the, the, the radius of the circle. But that's pretty cool. All you gotta do is flick a switch and then it just starts doing it. Hell, this one's here is even e easier than the, uh, <laughs> even easier than the Mantis. Which the Mantis is, is pretty easy too. It's basically almost the same thing. You just have to draw, fly out to the spot and then just tap the screen. This is pretty much the same thing. And then to get out of that, all you do, I guess, is just to flick the switch. There it goes, and then that, that comes out of it. All right, that works for me. All right, guys. I just wanted to bring it out and get the feel of it. Seems fine. At least I can see the screen even in the sunlight. So that helps. I'm going to take probably take this up to Lake Donegal or something. Who knows? I know one thing I'm not going to do and that's hand catch this beast. So I'll just land it here in the grass. I don't think there's a land button, so I have to just do this myself. The grass is pretty high, so I'll just have to deal with it. There. Pull the sticks down and out to kill the motors. All right. 
I don't know if the video stopped or not. Let me see. No, let me stop the video. Okay. The video stopped. It ran for about eight minutes. So, yeah, flew great. I mean, I don't know, you know, really not a lot to it other than just flying it. But it didn't seem uh, to get squirrely or anything like that. So, yeah, it seems fine. Motors are cool. Everything looks good, man. All right, guys, there you go. First crack at the spry. All right, you have a nice day.